What is going on, everybody? So I'm gonna just jump right into it. I don't redid this video like a million times at this point. I didn't realize Rasheed had so many setups that this video would have been entirely too long. So what I'm gonna do, we just gonna bring it down to at least like three setups per knockdown. Maybe more depending on which one I do. Cause some of these setups, they kind of just, you can do the same one for a different knockdown. So I figured that'd be a waste to include it again. So I'm gonna just try my best to get y'all a good baseline of stuff y'all can do. And if you see something that's missing that I didn't cover, it's because he got too many. So I'm trying to just stick to a certain number of knockdowns for each, for each setup. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So, all right, so for starters, we're gonna get into the medium mixer. That's the one you mainly gonna use for all your knockdowns. So media screen, there's three things you can do. You can do this, this is auto time. That's auto time and you know, you plus one. If somebody try to drive impact, you have enough time you can do it back and of course it is meaty and you can go straight into a standing medium punch after that without counter hit as well so that's a good thing about overhead you can go in the medium punch regardless the next thing you can do is this is the one I kind of like to do because at a certain point uh, people start parrying People parry Rashid a lot. I don't know if that's just me, but people parry Rashid a lot. So people start to like parry that. I think be just because of the wind up of the overhead, it looks telegraph after a while and it's auto time. So you can switch it up by doing, you know, forward heavy kick, which is not auto time. So you'll have to time that yourself. Uh, and another one is forward medium punch. I like forward medium punch a lot because forward medium punch it is like so you can delay as I get hit. So like you can do a throw, like a late throw, and then kind of mix that up with his forward medium punch. So those are three options that are you know pretty good for Mia screen medium mixer so in the corner that's when you you get a bit more freedom with your knockdowns because now oh and that's the other thing so i'm gonna it's gonna be like two or three setups for me a screen then two or three for in the corner i forgot to include that part so in the corner you can actually um do meaty charge tornado you gotta slightly charge it so depending on like when you release it it can be more plus I got it to like plus eight before you see plus six now so this is really good I feel against characters like JP who can't wake up you know you can this blows up his counter characters without wake up I feel like this is pretty good against I feel like you can throw this in against characters with a DP like once in a while because that's the thing with Rashid's like with these kind of setups it's a lot of wind up you know what I mean so it's easier for somebody to see the wind up being like oh bam I'm gonna go in the EXDP now the one upside I do like to do for example somebody got one bar I like to do a setup like this because I'd be like, please hit me with an EXDP and burn yourself out. Please do it. <laughs> so, of course, sometimes people fall for it and do it. And, you know, other times people will parry. So, but most of the time people will just EXDP and they don't be mindful of their meter. Like, even if he had two bars. Even if you had two bars, you know, you're almost in burnout basically at that point. So, for all these setups that include Tornado, 
for time's sake, just imagine it's JP or Kimberly or something. <laughs> Excuse me. So, another thing you can do is EX Cyclone. So, what I like about this is, for those that don't know, EX Cyclone lasts three seconds. From the time you see that look, the tornado shining, that's already you can move and do stuff. So it's three seconds, which is the longest out of all of Rashid moves. Besides his level two with the wind current. So that allows you to do like a crouching light confirm into the enhanced mixer, which is plus two. So that way now you can you know keep your turn. Like, imagine if they block, you still plus two anyway, and you in throw range. So, that's really good. You also can fully charge EX Tornado works too. So, you plus enough to do crouching medium, crouching medium kick. Because this is like a plus 10. See, it ain't even a counter hit. That's how plus it is. Luke couldn't even press nothing. So, if you look at this, see, I can't do that whole little crouching light confirm because the wind current don't last long enough compared to the EX Cyclone, which lasts three seconds. So, with a setup like with EX Tornado or even regular uh, fully charged Tornado, this. You gotta just hurry up and go into one normal and go into your cycle, your enhanced stuff from there. So, another thing you can do, another setup is crouching light kick with into with crouching light kick into crouching medium punch. So, Rasheed has a lot of frame kills set up. So. Just crouching light kick with, and that's that's a meaty. He plus five, and and of course you can throw because you plus enough to throw him. And another nice thing about this is that is auto time for a throw too, for a meaty throw. You with crouching light kick, drive rush forward, grab. Him which is I feel is pretty nice so and if I didn't mention it earlier you are plus enough that you can drive us forward and block so don't worry about that now one more thing you can do is like if you don't like doing a telegraph you know I got you covered with the medium stuff You can, you can also do this. So if you didn't want to do drive rush, you can do with crouching light punch twice and crouching medium punch, now you plus three. Oh, now I'm messing it up. So you plus three. And the good thing about this, Meaty throw as well from the wolf crouching light punches. So that confirms naturally, even without counter hit from the setup. So that's that's actually pretty nice. And then you go into you know whatever you, party starter setups you got from that point. So. I feel like that's you know pretty good that Rashid can do. So that's basically a mix. You know, sometimes people like doing just the regular straight up knockdowns and not the tornado stuff because, like I said earlier, it's a little bit telegraph depending on uh, if you're fighting characters with DPS because they could just easily wake up and do it, and it's not a safe way to go into it from this knockdown. I get into that a little later. So. So yeah, that's that's all for medium mixer. Now we're gonna move on to uh, light eagle kick. 
So Rashid's light eagle kick. Most of the time you'll be connecting this from like crouching light punch. So not crouching light punch, crouching light kick. It only confirms them from that. You can't do it from that or you know from that. Maybe on counter hit or something, but like let me see. Yeah, from like punish counter or something like that, but most of the time you'll do something like that, answer that. You know, of course you can get it from mediums, but I'm referring to like light attacks. So what you get from this near screen, you get the same overhead, uh auto time overhead. No, nah. wait, do you? Yeah, yeah, you get the same auto time overhead. The same forward medium punch, what I was saying earlier. Like I say a lot of his setups, they're going to kind of look same-ish, like depending on the ender. So, um, you get to do this. Now, this one is not auto time, so you will have to just delay it a little bit. See, and the good thing with this knockdown, you close enough that you can still throw him. See, that was on backward tech. Which makes it even more scary because you see what I was talking about the full medium punch? That really works well here. So that's auto time. Well, not auto time, but manual time. So depending on when you time it, that can be plus. See, that's plus one. If you get it, if you time it right, it can be, I think, like, plus three, plus four. Yeah, see, plus four the highest, at least that I got it. So, and of course, from here, you know, you are in throw range, so you can walk back and, you know, shimmy if you want. And then mid, um, in the corner, in the corner, you can just do... You whiff crouch and medium punch and then do another crouch and medium punch that's auto time he plus four so just like that you just whiff and it's midi see the computer set the to press a button after See, and the nice thing about this is it's a guess on somebody to to EXDP. Because you see, it's just such a seamless setup. It's a guess on whether or not you should DP or not. And even then, you know, just something like that. So this is a real nice setup, especially to be plus four. And again, you know, if you if you hit this, this is natural. Rashid could just instantly go in the medium and you know you get a real nice combo. Of course I'm dropping it. You know, just to give you an idea. And you see loop that called jump. So that's just natural. You know, it's meaty, you, you connect straight into the standing medium punch. So, another thing you can do is after this, you just do light cyclone. You plus six. Now, you can do medium. You can do heavy. See, all of them work. So, let me see how, how plus is the heavy. Oh, see, heavy. It's too slow here. But all you gotta do is roll and then you plus one anyway. So it is meaty, but if you were to just stand stand there and block it, then you negative. But hey, you just do this and roll. You all good. But of course you can do medium if you want. You not as plus. And then light. Light gives you the most because of how quick Luke getting up. So light is like very, very fast. So if you roll it up, then you negative. So in this case, you just do it by itself. 
And like I said, you plus six, so that's a free throw. Just like that. And of course, even so with this, if you notice, Rashid back walk speed, you know, it's, it's decent, but in this case, I can't walk back for Shimmy. So this is something you'll have to be careful of unless you start, you know, how people be doing the whole neutral jump stuff. But when it comes to trying to just do a Shimmy, in that case, you can't do it. So just be mindful of that so you don't randomly get grabbed. Now, I'm telling y'all this. Don't go in the match and y'all get grabbed and then blame me. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> so, that's basically... That's basically it. And, of course, uh, let me see. You know, for those wondering, if you try to drive impact, I could just do it back the same way for this. See, in a setup like this, you can actually kind of low-key add on to the to their gray life before you counter back. You see, that's just a little bit of damage, but in this case, now they got even more damage that they lost. So, I feel like that, stuff like that will become more uh, prominent is the word. As time goes on with people adding on gray life before they go into drive impact for their meaty setups. But yeah, that's I say that's that's all for this for the medium eagle kick. Not medium eagle kick, light eagle kick. So again when it comes to tornado stuff, the cyclones, be mindful because characters with DPs can punish this on these kind of knockdowns but characters without DPs they screw and they gotta try to either you know parry you know they gotta RPS themselves basically but if you wanna just play it safe you can always just do this and you you good to go okay so uh, we're gonna talk about Rasheed's heavy mixer so this knockdown so if you notice, he plus 37. But if I did it on the ground, he is plus 33. So that makes the world a difference. So this is very hype dependent. So what you can do from this setup, because he knocks you too far, so it ain't really too much you can do. So you just dash forward and then forward medium punch. Dash forward, drive rush forward, medium punch. So, so it look like, let me see, can you do overhead? Yeah, so you can do overhead as well. And again, this is on back recovery, so that's really good. So you can also go into forward heavy kick too. See, but that won't be manual time. You'll have to time match yourself. The forward heavy punch is not manual. Um, over here, not manual time. So, but that move got so much wind up. You just delay it a little bit yourself, and then it'll basically do the rest for you. But dash forward, and then forward medium punch. That's auto time basically. So you ain't got to do no delays or nothing like that. So that's basically what you will get for the mid screen. And now in the corner, most of the time you're gonna be hitting the mixer is from this. So we're just gonna start, we're just gonna go from this knockdown. So let me set the save status. So you plus 35. So in this case, you can roll you plus three now I want to mention too depending on how late you do this you know you might do it a little late and they kind of low to the ground how am I messing this up so 
See, now he's plus 34. So there's little details like that with Rasheed that just got to be mindful of, like with height. But from here, and you see now I'm plus two. So even if you kind of mess it up a little bit, you still plus enough. So, so if you notice, I can just flip. Then I messed it up. See? You do it correctly, then you just get that. So let me see how plus am I from this. Oh, you plus one, so that's still fine. That's normally what you get anyway for Rashidi's regular crouch and medium punch. So they're still meaty. And you also can throw. And this is, I feel, a good throw bait setup because you can flip. And then just flip again, you know, flip and then press the button to auto jump for you. And now that's a punish counter. So I feel like that's a real nice throw bait. It's kind of built in in a way. And another neat thing is this is not a safe jump, but if I flip, you know, then you get that. And then you also just safe anyway if you just do that and stop. So that's really nice. So yeah, it's a very unique little knockdown that you can do. I don't do it enough even though I know about it, but <laughs> you know, like I say, Rashid got so many, you'll find yourself kind of just forgetting certain things, but he can do that. And then, you know, E plus eight, depending on how meaty you do it. See, now I'm plus six. So, this is going in the territory I was saying earlier. You know, some of the setups kind of the same. So, you get the same, you know, whiff, crotch and light, drive rush forward kind of thing. So, um, another thing, let me see. I think he can do it from this setup. No, he can't do it from this setup. I'll see from here. You can do medium. Which is nice. Now let me see how plus is Rashid after this. Oh, plus eight. My goodness. So let me see. Now, being this plus, oh man, his walk speed still, I still can't walk back. <laughs> but, you know, it's still good. A plus eight, still good. And the Cyclone, you actually can do that. See, and that's actually really good that you were able to, to get an extension like this just from a crotch and light kick. Just from a crotch and light kick. So, yeah, that's kind of the best of both worlds kind of thing. You get some that's, uh, you know, safe versus DPs. You can base stuff out. And then you got the ones where you want to use the Cyclone and you want to kind of get a little more stylish with your setups and all that. And the flips. So... Because, you know, like I say, some people, they like to just play it safe. I'm not one of those type. I play it safe, but I got to, you know, I got to look cool with my setups at least. <laughs> so, I say, yeah, that's that's basically it for the, for the heavy mixture. Okay, so Rasheed's, uh, his throws and his air throw. So, his air throw, which you'll be using this a lot. That's, I honestly feel like that's kind of one of his better anti-airs. Because of how fast it is. But um, you'll be landing this a lot. So, forward heavy kick, that's auto time. This is the situation where forward heavy kick is actually auto time for a change. And you are plus two. Normally, you plus one. In this situation, you plus two. 
So if nothing else reaches from this far, like if they were the back row, you see the overhead is not auto time. Well, the heavy kick is basically your only, your only saving grace in this situation. Now, uh, in the corner, you know, you only plus, let me see. You only plus 27, so you don't have a lot of, you know, frame kill stuff like the setups earlier. So you basically kind of have to eyeball like a drive rush setup. And you can't go wrong with drive rush crouching medium punch because it's plus five regardless. So most of the time when you meet with crouching medium punch, you're just being even more plus than you really need to be. So plus being plus five is like, that's amazing right there. So you can, you can just eyeball it. You know, drive rush forward, and then you plus, and you just fine. So, for those that might not know, yes, Rasheed has a throw loop. So, for those that I wonder, he has a throw loop. Um, so, what you can do with this is, if you notice when Rasheed dash, you can stop, just hold down. And basically just stop his momentum so you do that with this setup and Rasheed plus four auto time plus four now the only bad thing about this is if somebody mashing hard then um, and you try to throw then Rasheed will get grabbed out of this See, so the only problem with this is because of how far you are when you do it. You see how far I am? Because normally when you do it, you like right here. You only got to walk up a little. But seeing this setup, so you got to walk a bit further, and that's when somebody really gonna have to just, you know, you really have to scare them into not pressing something. But you know that's some minor. You can easily just condition them. You know certain players, probably ones in rank, you ain't gonna condition them. Best to keep it safe with you know button it's a button or something like that. But yeah, just figured out that's a quick FYI. And Rashid does not get a throw. He does not get throw loop with his regular throw via screen. So what you gotta do is the back throw. Back throw. He is much closer even if he back throw. So he plus 27, which is the same as a zero throw. So you just auto time forward heavy kick. That's all you gotta do. That's all you can get basically this way. Um, if if somebody were the back row, forward heavy kick does the job for you. Let me see. And you know, you can just loop it just like this. And then of course, now let me let's make sure I can actually walk back. <laughs> Dang, I can't walk back. Dang. Now, let me see if somebody were to delay the throw. Because that's what happens sometimes. People delay the throw. That's how it'll look more than likely, but you get people that just be mash and throw instantly, so still just be careful. But, you know, of course, being plus two, you can always just go in the crouching medium punch after beat out they butt what they throw it to. So, another thing I want to talk about with, with this is, you might have seen this probably week one of Rasheed, you know, something like this. That's his run into the kicks. It's only on punish counter. It blows up throws, but if somebody were to be mashing on wake up, you just get hit right out of it. And the other thing is, you aren't safe. You negative four. So that's why I don't like doing this. I rather just, you know, bait a throw or something like that another way. But 
Just wanted to include that real quick, just so just so you are aware. But yeah, that's all for Rasheed throws. Forgot to go over this earlier. Just some quick safe jumps that Rasheed have. Um, so like from this, Rasheed is plus forty one. Funny enough, I still get a safe jump from this, but I thought plus 42 was the magic number, but I guess 41 is kind of like, all right, don't push it any further kind of thing. <laughs> so if you go lower than that, it definitely won't be a safe jump. But um, So the enhanced moves kind of makes some of Rasheed's moves have more frame data. Like heavy mixer, you actually get less advantage compared to regular. You see regular I'm plus 33, but enhanced I'm plus 28. So if it ever come a time when you get medium mixer, you plus 43. So you get a safe jump from this. So since it's plus 43, that means you might have to like wait half a second to jump. Because if you jump right away, you go miss just like I did but if for example if you do it from the ground you see you plus 42 instantly so you don't have to delay nothing so that's something to just keep in mind if you ever hit it from the ground instant safe jump but if you do the uh, medium mixer from the air then you just slightly wait a second, that's all. See, safe jump. And... You know, safe jump from this as well. Now, he also gets a safe jump from uh, that too. He plus 46. So, you'll have to just kind of wait a second to to do your jump because if you do it too soon you're gonna miss it because you're two plus and you also get a safe jump from this you plus 42 so you just do the light cyclone because if you do the medium cyclone you see you're a bit lower to the ground you plus 41 it should still work Yeah, it should still work anyway, but if you just want to be on the safe side, the light one, you know, there you go. Instant, you know, instant uh, safe jump. Okay, so now we talk about uh, medium eagle kick. So medium eagle kick is probably the one of the main knockdowns you'll get with Rasheed besides this one, or the more common ones, I should say. So, for starters, you do get a safe jump, but the only problem is you gotta eyeball it. So, I'm probably messing it up, but like a slight walk back and then jump in like that, you will get a safe jump. Oops. So, you don't have no manual, like, delay timing like this. Like off heavy eagle kick, you know, I whiff crouching light, I frame kill to get the safe jump. But since medium eagle kick is only plus 52, see when I whiff crouching light, it's only plus 38. So you gotta basically eyeball it. Now, another thing you can do that's a bit more consistent, you know, just okey wise, is flip, dash forward. Standing medium kick, and that's auto time. It's plus three. Now, you could do this. You whiff crouching light, dash, and then you plus seven. So, the only problem I have with this setup is I feel like this one of them setups that being two plus kind of hurts right here. So, you see how Luke pressed the button I couldn't do nothing I couldn't press jab now of course I could press medium once I see the counter hit but you gotta take it to account now with this game people will hold up so you see 
See, that's two plus. So I'm just delaying them real quick so I can show you. You see, if they was holding up or jumping back, I couldn't do nothing. So it's nice for wake up. And of course, it's nice, you know, if you want to get a throw in. I messed it up, but. So you could do that. And a quick note, you could do crouch and light if you want to as well. Instead of doing stand and light, because you might accidentally get the dry rush wolf thing like I just did. But you could do that to this. Oops. Dash. So the other thing I don't like about this is let me make them walk back. If I just make them walk back the whole time. See? See, that's the problem too. A lot of people like to walk back. So, of course, you can make the hard read and do crouch and medium kick, but if you don't like to make, I don't like to make hard reads if I don't need to. So, in this case, you can use. Hold on, let me see. See? So that's me. See, you plus two. Now you, and this is, I feel, a good enough amount of frame advantage where you can kind of threaten with a button. See, because in this case, if, if they were trying to jump back for some reason. See, I can actually clip them for it. So that's what I feel is most important is being able to clip people, you know, when they try to move. And then you cover both bases that way. Now the other setup, you know, like I was saying is, which is auto time, flip. Dry rush, standing medium kick, and then you plus three. And that's more than enough frame advantage, you know, where you can easily throw. Now, in this case, walk back is a little, you can walk back just a tad bit from this. See, but you're close enough that you can slightly walk up and press crouch and light compared to if you did crouch and medium punch. So sometimes being two plus can hurt you in a way, depending on if your move has a lot of pushback. And in this case, Rashid has too much pushback that he can't really threaten or really discourage somebody from mashing. You know, like if they were to block and then if they try to hold up or whatever the case may be. So now in the corner, this is, you know, I'll just go over this real quick. So everybody know about that setup. Everybody know about that. That's meaty. And this is how it looks most of the time. What people do now, people do that. So if you don't have a DP, that's most of the time what people like to do. So what I like to do is do it a little and then release it like at the last second because it looked like it's about to hit him and then you just throw him so another thing you can do is with crouch and medium punch and then heavy tornado so what's nice about this you plus five and the good thing is you're in range that you can easily shimmy me if you want to. And of course, you plus enough that you can just throw. So that's really nice. And as you saw a little while ago, if it hits, you get a real nice hit confirm. And then another thing you can do, you can just whiff crouch and light punch twice or crouch and medium punch twice. 
and you plus two. I need to do it faster. There we go, you plus four. So that's not bad at all to be plus four. And another thing you can do, and this is me a screen or in the corner. Uh, let me see. I'm all over the place. I just got off work. <laughs> uh, right here. Dash. And then overhead. That's auto time. You are actually plus three. Rather than plus one, which is... You normally plus one off this. So, normally when you hit this, you can go in the standing medium punch. But because this is plus three... Hold on. You can, you can go into heavy instead. And this is auto time. It works mid screen and in the corner. So, a quick note. You know, as I was saying earlier, uh, people can wake up EX. We kind of at the point now where people is basically in buffering the level three or uh, uppercut because as soon as they see Rashid do this, you know, they ready to uh, DP. So what I like to do sometimes is if they got this much bar left, I like to purposely make them try to spin that last bar. So nine times out of ten, some people are smart. They they won't fall for it. They'll try to parry, and then that's when you really get them with that. And now they burnt out. <laughs> and then sometimes people fall for it and they go for the DP, and then now they burnt themselves out. So you basically got two ways you can do it. You know, some people they like to play it a bit safe with buttons, so you can use the buttons, or if you want to do it with the tornado. You can, and I kind of like the the single shot tornado too because, in a way, you can just wait and bait out somebody to do something, or you know, like of course if you commit, then you will get hit. But it's not enough time compared to the whirlwind, the you know this move for somebody to be buffering compared to if I just do a single one. You know, it's kind of hard if I'm saying it right you know it's, it's harder to try to buffer against a single just shot like that compared to you know a full animation like that and then of course like I say it's just a simple you do that and then that's it so that's all for the medium eagle kicks he got a lot more setups but again like I say I'm gonna keep it short because he got too many setups in this video already too long as is <laughs> y'all probably wondering like man no level two stuff i ain't gonna lie uh this video been edited a lot <laughs> and unfortunately level two had to be left out i'm gonna do a whole separate video on that because like i said earlier rashid just got way too many setups and i like to explain stuff so it'll have been way too long so don't worry level two video will be coming out shortly but for now the last few things is EX Mixer. So this is plus 25. As you see, it knocks you far away. So it ain't really too much you can get from this. The most you can do, drive rush, forward heavy kick. And that's a real neat. Oops. See? Basic clean. If somebody try to drive in that, you can do it back. So in the corner, you basically gotta just try to eyeball a drive rush setup. Like if you want to do like crouching medium drive rush or something like that, or you stand in medium kick for whatever reason. Well, not for whatever reason. Standing medium kick good too. <laughs> but if you want to just auto time, just forward heavy kick, and that's it. That's really it for um, EX Mixer. You don't really get too much from it because you too, you're not too negative, but you know, 
it's so much recovery when he land that it's not a whole lot you can really set up compared to a lot of his other knockdowns. So that's really all you would get auto time wise. So next thing is his uh, this move here. I notice people starting to use this a lot. So just to show you. Do that over here right away is auto time and you can combo from it. You get a little mid screen too. Not bad at all. So the only thing I don't like about this is if they block it, you negative. Now you only minus one, so you can possibly still a turn if the opponent not too familiar with the situation. You know, you can kind of knowledge check them a little bit and still a turn. But I don't like, I like knowledge checks, but I don't like it to that degree where, well, maybe you can, depending on the character. Like Geef, I want to try this on Geef because they be mashing SPD, just turning the stick. <laughs> So be careful with that. Now, off this, as you can see, you are plus 48. So get a safe jump from this. You basically got to eyeball it because it's two plus. You know. Eyeball a safe jump because if you do it too soon, then it'll whiff. But you can eyeball it and you know, eyeball it yourself and kind of see when it's time to jump. Another way you can do it is, let me see, off that. So you plus 53. So what you do. with light punch like that it was plus 42 when I did it before maybe I'm doing a wrong setup Maybe I'm doing the wrong setup, but I promise it worked. But I think it's off a different setup. But without the frame kill, you would just have to try to eyeball it like that. Another thing you can do is you can do that which is meaty, but that's so telegraphed, I don't know if you really, you know, want to do it. You also can get a uh, meaty drive impact. You get meaty drive impact. Like that. So, you might be wondering to yourself, meaty drive impact? Let me put on the save status. Oops. So you see that? That's meaty. So normally, and this is how a not so meaty drive impact work. Oops. Let me see how I can set it up. So, something like this. Oh, that's actually me. <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. So, like that. If you can jab and then able to do something back, that's a meaty drive impact. But if you notice, with this setup, when he press a button, it wall splat. So, what that means is, if 
you want to do a drive impact, you have to do it as a reversal. You have to do it as a reversal. So basically, you got to do it right away. If you even wait a frame, <laughs> if you even wait a frame, as you can see, you get wall splat. So that's a meaty drive impact. You actually get a meaty drive impact off EX Mixer 2. I don't know if I like Is it off this? Oh yeah, it's off that. So when you do medium mixer to EX mixer, it's a meaty drive impact. Because when you do it off this, you get an extra bit of frame advantage. So now you plus 26 rather than plus 25. So that extra frame of advantage allows you to do meaty drive impact. So that's the same thing for if somebody did parry. So if you even a frame off with parry, is it? Did I have an instant? Oops. So, well, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> Let me not spread misinformation. So obviously you can do that. But then if you do it, if he, oh, let me see. That's how it look, all right. So y'all see, delay one frame, and he got hit. I think I had it on the wrong thing, but. So that's how it look, even if you try to parry, if you even a frame off, then you'll get hit. I keep messing up the time, man. Cause y'all saw that wall splat at first, right? <laughs> so that's you know nice knowing. That's a lot of other characters got meaty drive impacts. That's something a lot of people don't talk about yet. They probably don't know about it yet, but it'll come up eventually. So now the last thing is oh, is my alarm? <laughs> so the last thing is heavy eagle kick so normally you only get heavy eagle kick from situations like this like off this or where is that off this Of course, I messed it up. It's so hard to do this combo sometimes. It works though, I promise. There we go. So you get it off that. So, or the target combo. But normally, you are plus. Uh, 56. So easy safe jump with crotch and light punch. And now you plus 42. Easy safe jump. Now remember this is the heavy version. You gotta do the heavy version. The medium version, you gotta eyeball it, but the heavy is auto time. And then you get more frame advantage when you're doing it from the target combo, plus 67. So now you just back dash, plus 42. Back dash, jump, safe jump. That's all there is to it. So when you get the heavy eagle kick off, you would have heavy plus eight, just like that. And this is auto time. So you frame kill with crouching heavy. And you just go into medium. And of 
course you can throw from it. That's a meaty throw. You can also do this. If I can get it right. You know, something like that. Instead of doing fully charged, you can just do it a little. And depending on when you release it, it'll be more plus or not as plus. But some still nice. And from from here, you can do it from the crotch of medium punch. It's a whole lot more I want to show y'all <laughs> with this level two because you can get it from this. But man, I gotta wait till the next video. Man, I hate he got. Well, I ain't gonna say I hate it, but he got so many setups. <laughs> so, but if you wanna just keep it safe, you can just always just go for a safe jump. Now, another thing you can do is I actually got this from Twitter. I'm gonna link the tweet down below. I'm not even gonna act like I came up with this. Uh, when you do the heavy version of the target, the target combo to heavy easy kick, whip standing like it to EX Cyclone. You plus 22. So, and this is safe. You are safe versus DP, and you can actually kind of mix up somebody. So this, as you can see, I'm negative three, but this is a case of you can mix up the real setup, which is, so you see I set on the jab. So you see that part is real, the high. So you can mix up when people scatter the high, they're gonna be ready for the high and you sneak in the low. Because when somebody try to press a button, expecting the low, then you hit them with the high. So, I, I like, I know I said earlier, I don't like knowledge checking people as much, but a setup like this, you mix in a real with the fake so you can't tell which is which. Let's see, you got enough time to confirm it to whatever. Your enhanced moves and all that, which is not bad at all. And then if they block, you know, you still got the enhance plus two eagle kick. Well, not eagle kick, light mixer. You still plus. You dealt some drive gauge, so it's all good. And even off the regular version, you can't do the frame kill off the regular, I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, you'll get smoked, so you basically got to eyeball it. Just, just wait a second and just eyeball it. And you basically get the same setup. But that's that's really all that I can think of. When I say is Rashid got a lot of setups. Probably as I'm about to release this video, or well, as this video is released to y'all now, somebody probably finding new setups as is. <laughs> So, I say I purposely left out a lot of setups because it's too many and this video would have been way too long. Even though this video is long now, but it would have been way too long. <laughs> so, hopefully this gave y'all a good, a good starting point, a good baseline on Rashid, Oki, and how it works. And... Like I say, look out for level two. That's going to be a whole separate video by itself. And he got some real good stuff with his level two. And I'm sure other people do too. So, thank y'all for listening. Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.